Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How you all doing? Welcome back to some more FIFA 22 career mode here today on the channel. We're back with season two, episode four of my Creator Club career series, playing a Simsy FC. We're in the quarterfinals of the Europa Conference League. We're currently four two up against Nice. Hopefully. We can go and win in the second leg. We've got the rest of the Premier League to play. I reckon we can wrap up the season here today as well. Okay, so in the second leg against Nice, we've managed to go and beat them 2-1. We start off the scoring quite well with an overlapping run by Bradley in the second. Wood scored in the 31st and then Hutton made us win the match in the 64th. We had a Premier League match. Unfortunately, we've been absolutely smashed by West Ham 4-0, which is crazy. And then we went on to have a draw against Southampton, which is embarrassing. So, not the best run in the Premier League to start the episode off with. And it looks like Timo and Fernandes are fighting for the top goal scorer. We did manage to have a beat Manchester United, though. 3-1, mostly because Fred got sent off in the 45th. And then Lingard scored against his former side again. Alright, okay, so we've made it to the semi-finals of the Europa Conference League. Lille, Sporting, and Fiorentina. Uh, Lille was probably the best team, followed by us, followed by Fiorentina and Sporting. So, a bit of a, I don't know, a difficult draw. They've got some decent players. You forget that Fiorentina used to have, like, Sulla. Um, they've got Chiesa for whatever reason. Really? Uh, I guess he's technically on loan. Uh, Gonzalez is quite good, former Stuttgart, Argentine striker, from what I can remember. Um, it's quite funny that we picked a purple kit for this season, so I, I, I don't mind Fiorentina. I love the city of Florence. I've got Fofana in the midfield, okay. But um, I've always liked the kit, I've actually got the kit. <laughs> I've got one from like 2014. Whenever I did my um, Fiorentina career mode, I've got like a purple kit. I actually like it, I like it a lot. Looks good. There's not too many football teams with purple. Especially back then, before like Perth Glory and, and Miami came around. So they've got Federico Chiesa up top. The deal was not made permanent. He wanted to go back to Fiorentina for whatever reason. And they've got Benaventura as well. Speaking of Chiesa, he started off the scoring just before the fifth here. Um, okay. He must have rocketed up in overall rating. Because him and Dybala... We're filling that Ronaldo size hole that he left. So away in Florence, we travel all the way to Italy. And Fiorentina go 1-0 up from a fantastic Federico Chiesa Screamer. Scoring his ninth in 11 matches in the Conference League. Come on, we need to answer quickly. Chiesa, Benaventura to Chiesa. Now he picks up his second and a decent brace just before the 17th. Gonna play it short. One Mata has to come out to contain. He can't because he hasn't got those defending stats anymore. Castrovelli. Jaffet Tanganga. Is this a career mode YouTuber building this side? <laughs> Gonzalez. Chiesa. Benaventura. Jay Link's trying to mark him. Tanganga's role in the show here. I kind of like that he went there. It kind of reminds me of Mika Richards joining Fiorentina. English defender. Very similar player to Tanganga now that I've said that. Oh, hang on. Decent header from Bradley. Come on, let's flick it out. Oh, Hernandez has been brilliantly slipped there. One on one. Can he do it? He winds up, and of course he does. Against Dregkowski. Um. I think that's his name. Polish goalkeeper, eh? Or it's Polish, so it's pronounced differently. But I don't know. That's how I would say it. Anyway. Looks like we're going to hold on to a 1-1 draw if we're lucky. That's not too bad. Because this is a sort of a different Fiorentina side I was expecting. Particularly with Chiesa up top. Okay, we had a 1-1 draw against Leicester. Bale started off the scoring. One matter missed a golden opportunity. But Lingard answered in the 74th. So we've got May. And this is the final couple of matches of the season. Okay, so we're going to have to play this second leg. We didn't have to play the second leg against Nice. And... Yeah, a couple of others. Because we managed to smash them. So we're going to have to play this one against Fiorentina. 
I guess they can play in the purple, we'll play in the red again, because there's going to be a kick clash. Still Chiesa and Gonzalez, 1-1, one, one. no away goals. So we definitely really have to go out if we can. Go out, all guns blazing. Hernandez, 9 in the Conference League, pretty decent from a retiring striker. But at the end of the day, every single goal he scores, guess what? We got it for free. Yusuf Hutton. And we're away. Lingard. Oh, finds his former Manchester United brother. Chitorito. It's going to be a penalty. Oh, okay. I think that was more of a red card than um, last time. Oh, it's not. Oh, I, I swear that was in the box. Juan Mata's is going to step up, though. Got a pretty decent amount of power on it. Oh, I, I should have put it a little bit more to the left. He got it up in the over the wall brilliantly. Oh, they seem to not have um, Dragovic for whatever reason. Dragowski or whatever. Their Polish goalkeeper Bradley with a decent interception. And as far as Gonzalez, they might have even rotated the slide slightly for whatever reason. Oh, Federico Chiesa. Oh, wow, we might be actually out of the Conference League. I don't know how we're going to stop those long, outside-the-box, rifling orbital bombardment goals from Federico Chiesa. 2-1, they lead on aggregate now. Dude, we are leaving this way too late for my liking. Mata. Bradley comes forward from left back. Poch is even up here. We're just absolutely going ultra attack now. Sean Barnett on the inside to Hutton. Go on, Hutton! Maybe if they had their first team goalkeeper, they might not have saved. <laughs> he might have saved that, but Hutton answers with an absolute screamer of his own. Absolutely smashes it into the back of the net. An absolute thunderstrike. I think it was Sean that really did most of the work trying to find him. Top left as well. Extra time. Bradley. 92nd minute. Come on, come on. Hernandez. He got the turn on. Oh, we're probably going to have a pens. Yeah, because it's actually even on away goals. Even if it, if it was a thing. Uh, we've got a penalty shootout, which is not good. Hopefully, we've got better designated penalty kick takers, like one Mata Lingard, and then as we are, Mata steps up. Yeah, I don't know who they've got in goal. We've got Muller. They don't have their Polish goalkeeper. Chip, red there. Go to the right, Gon Gonzalez. Uh, I guess we'll go to the right with Jay Lings. Lingard steps up. Oh. Somehow slots it. I bet you this guy's only like 60, 70 rated or so. Off the post, fortunate. Hernandez needs to convert. But we're not the best from the penalty spot. Oh, he's hit the crossbar. <laughs> Neither are they cockle in. It might not matter, because they probably just don't have the goal. Penalty kick takers. Oh, but neither do we. Hutton, terrible. Fofana. Steps up. Oh, he converts. 2-1. Uh, After five penalties nearly. Both teams not very clinical. Sean Barnett needs to convert this one. I'll go straight down the middle. The captain goes a bit cheeky. But that's the winner. I guess they didn't get enough. <laughs> Sean Barnett, the captain, the number seven, puts us into the final of the Conference League. I feel like Florentino kind of threw towards the end there. They did not play their first team goalkeeper. Maybe he picked up an injury for whatever reason. We fluffed up our penalties. Maybe if they had a better goalkeeper, they would have gone through. But Chiesa didn't take a penalty, I don't think. 
I think they rotated a lot of their first team players just to bring on subs to try and win it. But what a crazy fixture. We narrowly beat Florentina. Oh, it looks like Sporting are going to make the final. Javier Hernandez, most goal involvements in the Conference League. In the 8 rating. Okay, so we've made the final against Sporting. Brighton, Liverpool and Arsenal to end the season. Unfortunately, we managed to lose 3-2 over Brighton at home. Bit of an upset. We did manage to pick up a pretty decent 2-2 draw against Liverpool, though. Mane started off the scoring. Chicharito answered with Hutton. We had the lead for a little bit. Only a minute, actually, of <laughs> Firmino. And we did manage to beat Arsenal on the final day with a pretty decent Azure Norwegian mighty header. United have won the Premier League again <laughs> for the second time in two seasons. And Mane wins the golden boot. And we've got a lot of players in the team of the tournament. We've managed to get a decent amount of money for where we finished in the Prem. Which was in fifth place. So we've got Euro Europa League football next season. Guaranteed. Um, I think if we win the Conference League, we get Europa League football. I don't know if that combines to make the Champions League. I kind of wish. So after 38 games played, we managed to finish with 69 points. West Ham 6th, Spurs 7th, Arsenal in 9th. So we finished in 7th last year. Would have liked to finish higher, but 5th will do. Liverpool won the FA Cup. 4-3 over Spurs. And then unfortunately, we managed to get knocked out of the Carabao, making the final and losing 2-0 to Spurs. Hopefully, we don't do the same in our next cup final. Lose, that is. But not too bad for season two, if I do say so myself. Uh, Lazio play Gladbach. And obviously we play Sporting. And the Champions League is still yet to be played. So I feel like Lille would have been a tougher side with Jonathan David. Uh, Ligon's last year's champions, I guess, eh? But there's their run in the conference. All right, let's get stuck into the final match of season two. Federico Chiesa is the top goal scorer. And our top goal scorer is Hernandez. So we have Cortez. Um, I think we're playing the red, even though we're away, because it's our home kit. Oh, they've got um, Mendes. Oh, that's it. They've got that Brazilian left back who's quite decent. He's currently on loan at PSG. So I guess in season two, he's been recalled back. But anyway, we have the Europa Conference Final. Um, a little bit weird. That we've made it all the way here, but we'll take it. It's a weird looking tournament, the Conference League. But hopefully we can pick up our first European trophy for the club. Even if it's the Conference League, it's still massive. So, Stadion Olympic. Is this Roma Stadium? Could very well be Naples, or it could be somewhere in Turkey, I don't know. But they've got the former Liverpool goalkeeper. Uh, uh, center back, sorry. There. Oh, there's our run to the final. That's cool. That narrow win on pens. Oh, they actually won on pens against Trebizon. Fiorentina. Oh, wow. That was really quite lucky. Yeah, I think it's Napoli Stadium because of the racing track around. But Sporting have the kickoff. We're about to get us underway. Dumbia. That's not the Dumbia, is it? Could be. Sporting, real opportunity, Mendes with a great strike. I was just talking about him, the left back. Sporting, oh, it's probably handball, if I had it turned on, to be honest. Lingard, hasn't been to a European final since Stockholm and Jose. Hernandez, dude, this guy's still absolutely god tier for me Javier Hernandez of course makes it 1-0 in the conference league dude I get so much nostalgia when I play with Javier Hernandez he was one of the players that made me fall in love with Manchester United like actually I used to sign him in all my career modes the dude was amazing from like FIFA 12 onwards until he sort of left to join America Sporting. Oh, here we go. 
Couple of decent players Sporting have. They've done well to get to the final, to be honest. Okay. They answer quickly. 1-1 one, one, just before the 32nd. Sporting with a great goal, I guess. They've probably got a lot of young players that have huge potentials. <laughs> I would imagine. That's why they're progressing so well now in Season 2. What a beautiful goal there. Absolutely bends it around Muller. He's still susceptible for those long shots. Second half now. Still 1-1. One, one. Quite close. Still quite cagey. Azure has to come out. Bradley can't contain. Come on, close him down, Barnett. Come on. Gaspar! Oh no, we might be out, actually. Oh, I, just, I just can't do too much, eh? Those cup final screamers. What a magnificent goal. Come on, Poch. Once again, we're leaving it too late. Hutton. Go on, Javier, make the run. I know you've got the finishing. Just get into the box. Get the angle. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. What a strike. A stick of dynamite by Javier. And we're back in at 2-2. Two -two. We have to work our way into the box where they can score like long-range screamers. Extra time. I don't want it to go to pens. Come on. Press. Press. Oh, wow. How's Hutton won that back? 90th minute. Left foot. Oh, he's missed it. Jay Ling's back at it. Go on, Chicharito. <gasps> oh. My God. We've avoided penalties and we've won the conference league. Um, that was crazy by Hutton. The strength and physicality for him to do that. The dude's still a teenager. Lingard picked it up. Hernandez knew what he had to do. Just smashes it. Puts all his might and power through it. 3-2. What a conference league final. Javier Hernandez scores his 12th goal in Europe within 13. To bin it and clinch it in the dying embers of the match. That could be game, set, match. And it is. We disappointingly got knocked out of the Carabao Cup again. Making the semis last year. And then the final this year. We managed to finish in fifth, which is not too bad, but there was time in the season where we were on for top four. But due to, I guess, me focusing on the Conference League, allowed us to drop our Premier League form a bit. But we've gone and won the Conference League for the first time playing in career mode. I actually don't mind it. So if you, So I reckon if you played with a team... Probably in the bottom half in Europe, you probably could win the Conference League. Like, actual. Like, you could definitely do it with Wolves, Newcastle, definitely Leicester. Maybe even, like, a Brighton even, as well. I don't know if you'd be able to do it with a Brentford or a... Or a... Sheffield. Or something, but, yeah, definitely go for the Europa Conference League, guys. So, in my... First Creator Club Career Series. We've gone out and won the Europa Conference League. And the boys lifting their first European trophy. Sean Barnett. Wow. So, next season we'll have to have a look. We could be in the Champions League, but I reckon we've just made the Europa League, to be honest. Finishing in fifth and winning the cup. But we've flown all the way to Italy. I'm going to say it's in Rome. And... We've won against Sporting. Man, a bit of a tough run to the final. Not going to lie. Beating Florentina on penalties. Beating a good Nice side as well. But there we go. Our first European Cup. Hopefully, it's the first of many more to come. I still want to do four or five seasons of this career series. I want to try and build a competitive, consistent top four side. And try and win the Premier League and the Champions League. We've won the Conference League. Europa League's next for Season 3. And then I guess Champions League and Premier League beyond. But now that we've finished in 5th and we've won the Conference League, I wonder how much money we're going to get next season. Because we only had 15 mil at the start. 3-2. Man, it was 
definitely not easy. Sporting scored some fantastic long-range goals. And I can't wait to see how the teams progress because the average rating of the team now is shot up to about an 80, I would say. We're progressing like five overall ratings roughly for the squad overall. Lazio have won the Europa League, which is quite cool. But there are the boys celebrating with the cup. We are Conference League winners. <laughs> it's massive, the Conference League, for a, for a small team like us. Getting some European pedigree. Okay, so yeah, United win again by two points this time. Man City come back big time. Um, FA Cup was Liverpool's win. Eintracht Frankfurt won the Super Cup. Oh, Barcelona won the Champions League. Sevilla won it last year. And yeah, Lazio won on pens. And then we won the Conference League, of course. So two Spanish sides have won the Champions League in the last two years. Cool. Alrighty, let's run through the stats. So here's the team. Hutton's 79 rated. How insane is that? Lingard, 80. One match has gone down a bit. Yusuf shot up. Azure and Poch. My defense is nearly 80 rated. And here are the couple others. We've still got that one rated player. It's a bit of a joke. We've got him hostage. He's a bit of a meme. So, Florian Müller, although he's conceded a lot this season from the long shots, he went up a plus four. Christoph Azure has gone up a plus four as well. 81 rated. Bogle, plus four, 80 rated. Jay Lings, plus one, 80 overall. Poch, plus three, 79. Wow, Harry Hutton, plus five. Yusuf, plus five as well. Bradley, Barnett, Hernandez went down, Rogers went up at two, one matter went to minus four somehow, even though he's got a crazy amount this season. So goals-wise, Hernandez scored 29 goals for free, Jay Ling's with 28, Hutton with 17, one matter. So Hutton's goal attribution, uh, goal contribution, uh, even though his attributes went up, his attribution went up, <laughs> his goal contribution went down, one matter was 16. So, even though they're aging players, we managed to get 70 goals out of them, which is kind of mad, to be honest. Yusuf is really underrated. So, Harry Hutton is my highest value player now. We, we signed him for free in the Youth Academies. We're 36 mil. Ange is up there with 26 mil. That's decent, because we signed him for about... Uh, f probably 15 plus a player, so about 20, more or less. But, that is pretty much... Hit for season two. We didn't sign those youth players. We didn't keep those clean sheets. Oh, that's why they wanted to sack me. But I finished above my FA Cup expectations. They still want me to get into the Champions League in four seasons, which the way we're going, the way we're progressing, is definitely doable. But I don't know. I want to focus on the Europa League next year. You know what I'm saying? Hutton has sold the most shirts, which is cool. But the thing is, we were really quite fortunate getting a player like him. But we won our first... Major trophy. First Continental Cup. Still zero leagues in domestic, though. Heaps of potential job openings. Oh, okay. We could look to bring back Hickey next season, I guess. He shot up to an 80 overall. And how's Wolf going? He's now an 80 overall as well. We could look to bring those guys back in Season 3, potentially. But I will be doing Season 3, coming out tomorrow. And I guess we end Season 2 here. And they're still quite happy with my performances, even though I didn't hit all the overall objectives. So here is Season 3. Hernandez is retired, which is unfortunate. But we've got a whopping 55 million. Oh, wow. So we definitely need a new striker. Um, maybe even a couple of others. Probably midfielders and fullbacks more so. But let me know in the comments. Players you'd like me to sign for season two of... Oh, sorry, season three <laughs> of the FIFA 22. Create a club career series playing at Simpsy FC. We've got Europa League football next season. And hopefully we can make those Champions League places. Oh, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm thoroughly enjoying this Create a Club series. And I hope you guys are as well. All right, I'm going to play the outro now. Thank you very much for watching. Unfortunately, it's time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Check out my social media links in the description below if you'd like to stay connected with me. Got to say a huge thank you to my patrons and channel members. Victor K, Sebastian C, Jordan K, Caesar L, Brian S, Tal, Liam B, Kyle P, 
Tom C and Wyatt P. So thanks guys, my name has been Simsy, much love from Australia, goodbye.